what's going on guys, Max Fickaxe here once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at version 3 of my Minecraft Redstone Memory Storage System, um, with Redstone. So, um, let me just go ahead and um, go back into Minecraft. Alright, so, in my first version, this little system would be probably about this big by now, I'd say, that big. The second version, it would be about this big here but now I have my third version and it is so compact a lot of people would say I recommend you check out my older versions but I don't recommend you check out my older versions because they are crap but this is my new version and it is freaking awesome yes very easy to do so um, we have um, four bits of memory here which is half a byte and um, you just come here and then you have two slots to save it to you can call this a third slot if you want. This is kind of like a temporary slot. I don't know what you want to call it or not, but let me come here and let me t put in 1101 here. And if I go ahead and press the save button here, just like that, it's actually now saved to memory here. So you can now see 1101. So this is like temporary um, stuff. This is like temporary. So let me come here and update it to 0001, you can see it's not updated here so it's still 1101 because we did not press that save button there so here's our output 1101 like that so we can actually come here and save that to slot 1 and now if we come here you can actually see that we wait which slot is not 1, oh, this is slot 1 1101 now you might think it saves the 0001 which is right here but no it saves what's in the temporary memory here and slot 1 and we can you can see that as 0000 and if we do the same thing for slot 2 it's going to be saved to there and if I were to come here and change it as much as I want so now it's 1001 if I save back to slot 1 it's still going to be 1101 because I did not update it here so once I update it here did I even press that? It's now saved to temporary memory again. And now, when I save it to say slot 2, for example, we now got 1001, and on slot 1, we got 1101. So now I'm just going to go ahead and explain how this works. And as I'm explaining, I will actually do the tutorial. And it just before that, I want to mention that each single um, bit that you update um, with this system um, with 4 bits. Um, here on your bits here it's actually exactly the same delay when updating all of them and when you hit that save button it's the same to save to slot 1 and slot 2 now I'm actually in creative mode here if you didn't notice okay so here's all the items you need to build the system so to begin you're gonna um, come here and do as many bits as you want I'm just gonna do um, 4 for the purposes of this video you can extend this if you want and you're gonna put 4 inputs here just like that then for each bit of memory you're gonna place a repeater here just like that just repeat this and um, like that and um, for each um, bit slot whatever you want to call it and um, just like that now you're gonna get your building blocks and build them over it just like this and repeat the system each time so it's the second repeat third repeat and finally for repeat but we do not need to do two extra here because we're not leading into a fifth bit so you just need to stick it in like that after doing that you're gonna get this um, and you're gonna place a redstone torch here with a block on top and then you're gonna input your button here and if you want you can also put a sign with text on it save to temporary memory after that you're gonna come here and you're gonna put a redstone on either one just like oops just like that and you're gonna place um you're just gonna follow this pattern for as many blocks as you want to go upwards or as many slots as you want to do. But you need to do it minus one. So if I do it going up um if I do um repeat this pattern once, that means I'm saving two slots. If I were to come here and do the thing the pattern twice, just like this. Now I have one, two, and you have a third slot. Now I'll show you that later, but for the purposes of this video, let on to toggle downfall, and then I'm going to just break these two slots. After you toggle downfall, you're just going to repeat them, this in each slot, just very quickly. 
and when you're complete with that, um, you're going to count how many redstone torches you have, and each redstone torch is like lay um, here, so um, I have two redstone torches on um, each one, so we're going to put um, a repeater on two ticks of delay, um, for each one, just like that. After doing that, you're going to repeat your repeater lock on each slot, or whatever you want to call them again, just like as I did earlier on. And then you're going to come here, and you're going to do the same thing that we've done earlier, and just like this, just like that, and just repeat this for each one, as we've done earlier in the video. We're also going to want to do the same thing up here. So what you're going to do is, for this top slot here, extra iron block on the top, and obviously you would now have to actually put a redstone signal coming out of this very easily so all you have to do is he come here and place your redstone signal once again if you were doing it another slot you would just do this like that and then you would put your iron blocks up on the top here and then you would actually put your redstone coming out on this line too obviously for the purposes of this video i'm not actually going to make it extend again but now when you're here, you're just going to do your repeater lock system again. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, that's how it works. So it's inverting it and actually doing a repeater lock. And that's how the memory is being saved. Um, very simply like that. So you just need to continue and finish this on each bit of memory again. And when you're done with that, we're going to continue. So obviously, once again, you're going to want to um, put your blocks here and um, do this on each piece now this is much harder to do when you're in the air so this will take a minute so I may as well just skip ahead and when you've done that you're just gonna come here and then place your redstone signal going upwards as we've done um, a billion billion gazillion times before now you're gonna head back here and you're gonna come out like this and then place a redstone torch just like that and now it's gonna be locked so that when we press our button obviously it's going to unlock it and allow your signals to travel through once again you can place your sign that says save the slot one in memory i meant memory i just had to edit that sign there and then you're going to do the same system with the bottom ones as we've done um, once again a billion gazillion times and then you're going to want to put your um, redstone torch just hitting off here place your button place your sign that says save to slot 2 in memory and um, without um, messing up it again and then you're just going to come like this and boom it's actually done now if we want we can actually kind of finish off the design of this room or whatever you want to do just like that all around and now we're going to run a test run so we're going to save 1010 just like this we're going to save it to temporary memory and let's check if it's working it is all working now we're going to save it up to slot 1 in memory, which that should be slot 2, 1010. Zero, zero. And this one is also on 0000. Zero, zero, zero. Now we're going to try update this to 0000. Zero, 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 zero. And we're going to save to slot 1, but it's still 0000 zero, 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 zero because we did not update it here. So once we update it, um, once we update it here and say save it to slot 2, it will come up with 0000. Zero, 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 zero maybe go ahead and select this switch press this button and it changes that 0000 to 1000 anyway guys that's about it for this video nice awesome uh, memory storage system that is so compact so this is what it looks like um, on the compactest um, look so as always if you enjoyed um, leave a like and then um, subscribe if you want to check out more awesome videos and i'll see you next time bye